Welcome to Morning with Mai. If you're looking for a community where we're reading through the entire Bible in one year, you've come to the right place. Before we start our reading for today, which is Monday, January 8th, which we will be reading from the book of Genesis in the Holy Bible, chapters 24 and chapter 25, I would like to take this moment to wish those of you that are celebrating January 8th as your birthday day by singing, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my dear January 8th birthday darling and many more. I hope that you are having a terrific day celebrating your special day. The other day, I was at Central Market and I just happened to browse the ice cream section of the store and found this birthday dessert. I'm going to insert a picture in here so you can see it. If you get to try it, let me know what you think. It looks to be a very delicious birthday dessert indeed. Now I will turn to the Holy Bible so we can start reading chapter 24 from the book of Genesis. As I'm turning to that page, for those of you that do not have the Holy Bible physically to read, you can download a free app from the Gideon website and that app has all the different Bible versions as well as over 1800 languages so you will for sure find a language for yourself i love that you're here to do the reading with me and today let's get started with chapter 24. chapter 24 of the book of genesis and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, and thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I needs bring thy son again unto the land whence thou comest? And Abraham said unto him, Beware thou that thou bring not my son thither again. The Lord God of heaven, which took me away from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that swear unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land, he shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then thou shalt be clear from this my oath and only bring not my son thither again and the servant put his hand under the thigh of abraham and his master and swear to him concerning that matter and the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master and departed for all the goods of his master were in his hand, and he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahor. And he met his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water, and let it come to pass 
that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down the pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink, and she shall say, drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast shown kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher, and she said, Drink, my lord, and she hastened, and she hasted, and let down her pitcher upon her hand, and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also, until they have done drinking. And she hasted, and emptied her pitcher into the trough, and ran again unto the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man wondering at her held his his peace to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass that the camels had done drinking that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor. She said, Moreover unto him, we have both straw and we have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute thy master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way of, of the Lord, led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her father's, of her mother's house, these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw the earrings and the bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when he heard the words of Rebekah, his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standing thou without? For I have prepared a house and room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and the water to wash his feet, and the man's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat. But he said, I will not eat until I have told my errand. And he said, Speak on. I'm turning the page. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he is become great. And he hath given him flocks and herds and silvers and gold and manservant and maidservant and camels and asses. And Sarah's my master's wife bare a son to my master when she was old. And unto him he hath he given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. 
but thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, peradventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, the Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee and the prosper and prosper thy way and thou shalt take a wife for my son my kindred of my kindred and of my father's house and thou shalt be clear from this my oath when thou comest to my kindred and if they give not thee one thou shalt be clear from my oath and i came to this day unto the well and said o lord god of my master abraham if now thou shalt prosper my way, which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. And she said to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman whom the Lord has appointed, out for my master's son. And behold, I had done speaking in my heart. Behold, and before I had done speaking in my heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste and let down her pitcher from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her, and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Micah, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earrings upon her face, and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshiped the Lord and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, which had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceeded from the Lord, we cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard he, their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold, and raiment gave and gave them to Rebekah, and he gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night, and they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at least ten, after that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel, and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah, and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah, and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rebekah arose, and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels, and followed a man, and a servant took Rebekah, and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well, Lahindroi, for he dwelt in the south country, and Isaac went up, and Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, 
And behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. And that concluded chapter 24 of the book of Genesis. We will now start reading chapter 25 of the book of Genesis. Then again, Abraham took a wife and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimron and Joshan and Medan and Midian and Ishbak and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Ashurharim and Latushim, and Le-Tumin, Le-Tumin. And the sons of Midian, Ephah and Ephat, and Hanok, and Abida, and Elda, all these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. But unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived a hundred, thirty score, and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth. There was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well Laharoi. Now these were the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names according to their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nabajoth, Kedar, Athbael and Mipsam, and Mishnah and Duma and Masa, Hada and Tama, Jetur, Nafish, and Kenamar. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, a hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generation of Isaac, Abraham's son, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, and the daughter of Bethuel, and the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder 
and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red and over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Isaac was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he sware unto him, and he said his birthright unto, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. And that concluded chapter 25 of the book of Genesis. At this point, I would like to introduce the prayer for today. Today being Monday for simplicity and easy to remember. Just remember that on Monday, just pray for yourself. Monday, pray for me and myself. So in your case, pray for you and yourself. And if you have husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, pray for them as well. And at this point, I would like to introduce the action verb of the day, which is give. Now, whenever in the Bible it says, for God so loved the world, the next thing that comes after that is he gave his one and only son. Again, love is linked with give. So today I would like for the action verb of the day to be give. Throughout the day, think of ways that you can give to other, whether it be of your time, your talent, or your treasure, and ways that you can give to grow God's kingdom. And exercise that word of the day throughout the day. So my action verb of the day for you is give. I hope that this reading has blessed your life. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we come back and read Genesis chapter 26 and 27. Have a cheerful day and I will see you tomorrow. At this point, I would like to introduce the prayer for today. Today being Monday for simplicity and easy to remember. Just remember that. On Monday, just pray for yourself. Monday, pray for me and myself. So in your case, pray for you and yourself. And if you have husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, pray for them as well. And at this point, I would like to introduce the action verb of the day, which is give. Now, whenever in the Bible it says, for God so loved the world, the next thing that comes after that is he gave his one and only son. Again, love is linked with give. So today I would like for the action verb of the day to be give. Throughout the day, think of ways that you can give to other, whether it be of your time, your talent, or your treasure, and ways that you can give to grow God's kingdom and exercise that word of the day throughout the day. So my action verb of the day for you is give. I hope that this reading has blessed your life and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we come back and read Genesis chapter 26 and 27. Have a cheerful day and I will see you tomorrow.